Hi, my name is Diana Isaacs. I am a clinical pharmacist and a certified diabetes educator at the Cleveland Clinic Diabetes Center. And I just wanted to share some tips with you today about continuous glucose monitoring or CGM. So this is actually a sample report from one of my patients. And I just wanna kind of give you some tips about how I approach it. So first of all, this gray range represents what we call the target range, which is set for 70 is the low end and 180 is the top end. And then these little orange spots here represent times where it's above that target. And then the red part here represents times where it's below target. What I'll typically do is I'll actually show patients one of these reports before I even get their information to explain the importance of keeping a food log, a food and medication log. And the reason why is when you compare two days or you ask someone, what did you eat for breakfast three days ago? I can't even remember, so how can I expect um, one of my patients to remember? So that's definitely thing number one, is keeping um, good records of everything. And typically, I'll go ahead and look at those lows, and we wanna prevent those lows. So really looking at things like, what, you know, what did you eat for breakfast this day? What time was the medication taken, or if it was insulin injected? To really get to the heart of why this is happening and prevent that. And similar, when we have higher numbers like this, um, it's all about comparing different days about, you know, what was for breakfast this day versus that day. And we sometimes find very in, in, uh, interesting things, like for example, patients realize eggs um, don't raise blood sugars as much as cereals do. So this can provide a really great learning tool for patients and ultimately can also help the team to be able to recommend lifestyle changes and medication adjustments when needed. So that is all for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching.